What is up, YouTube family, vending family, hustler family? I, I don't know, but what is up, everyone? Dominic Barbito here. Welcome back to this channel. Super excited for you to be here. As always, make sure you're subscribed. A lot of awesome content coming to this channel, a lot of better content. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying these videos. But in this video, we're going over the future of the vending machine industry and beyond. What can we can expect to happen as a result of what is going on in the world around us? I want to introduce one more new concept to this channel and in these videos. Every video here going forward, be hiding one to five coupon codes. And in this video, there's three coupon codes for you guys to know. These coupon codes are gonna give you 40% off Vending Business Solutions. So if you wanna start a vending business, you're gonna get 40% off vendingbusinesssolutions.com, your one-stop shop for everything in the vending industry. So stay tuned, watch the entirety of this video, make sure you're paying attention. I wanna make sure people are engaging with the videos, so make sure you're liking, subscribing, commenting down below. But there are coupon codes, hope you guys find them, and I will see you at the end of this video. All right, guys, so in this video, we're hitting on an interesting topic here. Our lives have changed. The people around us' lives have changed. Everything has been impacted by what we know is going on. This pandemic, this coronavirus, COVID-19 has affected everyone's life in one way or another. What I heard is one in five people are actually unemployed. So I apologize to anyone that is unemployed. Hopefully you're making it through this tough time. And for anyone who has uh, got COVID-19 or has contracted the coronavirus, or if you know someone that has got it, my prayers go out to you and your family during this tough time. Make sure everyone is staying safe. Make sure you're washing your hands. And let's hop right into this exciting video of what I think the future of vending machine business holds for all of us, whether beginners, intermediates, advanced, these tips, these topics, they're going to help every single one of us, even including myself. All right, so I wrote a little script here on my phone. Don't mind me looking down, but I'll try not to look at it as much, but you can see I'm holding my phone here and it's a little script. But the entire world as we know it has changed. Millions of people's lives are affected. Now going into public places, we all have to be six feet apart, social distancing rules, businesses are closed, hopefully opening up in the next couple weeks, May 15th as I heard, is the day, maybe not. Today I wanna to personally use this video and the slight influence that I have on YouTube to go over some things for the vending industry. A lot of people create vending videos here on YouTube, but not a lot are explaining what is actually going to change, what is going on, going to happen, and what we have to do in the future now as a result of what is going on around us. Most of the time, I do have some answers here on this channel for what I think we can do, how we can start our vending business, how we can grow it, how we can get locations and things like that. A lot of what I already know has been pretty much voided uh, during these times because businesses are closed, people aren't answering the phones, people aren't looking to do business during this time because their business is affected by this coronavirus. Unless you're selling toilet paper, unless you're, unless you're Jeff Bezos, unless you're Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, or one of these large companies, you have been affected by the coronavirus in one way or another. Even Apple has been affected with a decrease in iPhone sales. No one that we know has lived through a time like this before. No one around me has seen anything similar to this and the impact that is had on the economy. No one knows what is going to happen and what the future holds for any single business. I cannot stand here and say that I know what is going to happen as a result of this virus or what is going to happen in the future because of this virus. But what I can say, what I can do in this video is provide you with tips and guidance of the future of the vending industry and what I think you need to do immediately for your vending business to be able to still sustain and be successful during these tough times. For those just starting their vending business or stumbling across this channel or onto this video because you're just looking to get into the vending business, I'm sorry for such a time that you have entered this business. I do still believe you're able to grow your vending empire, start the vending revolution, join the vending revolution with all of us. That also it deserves a plug for our Facebook page, Vending Revolution. Check us out on Facebook, awesome page of a bunch of vendors, about 5,000 of us from across the world looking to start vending businesses. I think the vending business is still a viable income source. It's just a little different right now. I must say, I haven't went to a vending machine or an honor box or anything in probably over a month and a half. I will start going over the next two weeks, check my locations, pull some honor boxes, get things going again, and you'll see that on this channel, but things are going to be different. Starting with the first tip here, a nice fat stack. Yep. Honestly, I think the first thing we need to talk about is gaining the confidence of our locations, making sure they understand what the future holds for our vending machines, what we're going to do to be more clean, more conscious of germs and understand, you know, our vending machines are being touched by people constantly. 
So we will need to go more frequently to our locations. We can't let our machine sit for two, three, four months like some of these other guys do. We will have to go more often and clean them more often and that tip will be here later on. But unfortunately, a lot of places, as I've heard from a bunch of people, they don't even want our machines anymore. They're turning machines facing the window. They're doing a bunch of different things so that people don't touch our machines and people aren't spreading germs and there's no risk to anyone um, with these machines. I've heard people putting garbage bags on top of the machines so that they can't you know, put quarters or touch anything. A lot is going to change and right now it is very uncertain. So to get back on our route, to start our route, to do anything with our vending business, here are just a few tips that I believe can really help you in the future and beyond. Make sure you're talking to your locations. Make sure you assure them of what is actually happening with your vending business. Make sure you assure them that you know, you're coming more often, you're cleaning them more often, you know, you're gonna change out the product, you're gonna update the product. You have to do things to assure them that you understand what is going on in the world, but you're also taking precautions with your business and you know, putting them on the front line and making sure they understand as well that you're doing everything you can because if you, they don't understand that and they don't see you doing the right thing, they will kick you out. So that'll be an interesting thing to see. I heard it's already happening, um, but we'll see what happens with my own personal business. If you guys have a business, comment down below. Let me know what's going on with your vending business. I'm really curious to chat with anyone who has their own vending business or is looking to start. Change as much as possible of your machines. Um, this relates to big machines, little machines, ATMs, everything. Um, you have to understand that a lot's gonna need to change different things, whether it be Lysoling your machine every time you go to it, using different type of antimicrobial -micro uh, products so that you can make sure that there are no germs on your machine and you have no risk of any germs spreading through your machines because obviously that is a pretty scary thing that we do face. People do touch our machines daily. So we have to make sure to keep them clean, change out our products, similar like gumball machines, uh, peanut M&Ms, regular M&Ms, stuff like that. People are going to be a little more standoffish or you know they might not buy your product as much just because they don't wanna to touch the machines, they don't wanna to touch the candy because other people are touching it. Your biggest thing, and this is what I think the future of the industry is gonna have, is putting cups, paper cups, or little tiny cups, you know, like the Listerine cups that I have in my bathroom, putting these little cups next to your machine so if people want candy the candy goes right into the cup and they're not actually touching the candy or touching the machine and that provides for a much easier experience i think that's where the future of bulk is going to go with these little cups they're going to cost you a little more money of course obviously but you know give less or give more upgrade your mechs to 50 cents and that's going to be the difference so make sure you're changing with the times adapt with the times because a lot is going to change in this industry I don't mean to scare anyone when I say all of this, but I think a lot is going to change and we just need to be aware before it all does change because we can't be behind that curve, we need to be ahead of it. Clean your racks, clean your heads, clean your entire keypad on your ATM, soda snack machines, arcade machines, clean everything possible that anyone touches, clean the glass, things you already should have been doing that most of us sometimes will forget when we're rushing on our route and trying to get as many machines done as possible clean everything with Lysol wipes, stock up on Lysol wipes, Purell, gloves, make sure you're wearing gloves going into locations, make sure you're wearing face masks, stock up on all these things. If you do that going into locations, people are gonna be you know, a lot happier with their experience. People are gonna see how you're cleaning the machines. They're gonna be more likely to buy from those machines because they're clean and you know they look good. So make sure you're cleaning as much as you possibly can when you're on your route every single time you're out, not just once a month or twice a month, however many times you go, clean those machines up, make them look good, make it look different, change things up in your machine, um, do as much as you can to make your vending machine look different, stock it up with different type of things, whether you wanna put Purell, whatever you wanna do, make sure people are still attracted to going to your vending machines and buying from your vending machines. Solidify your relationships, and this is kind of probably the biggest one, is if you don't have good relationships with any of your accounts, you're not gonna have that good of a business. Your business is only based on the amount of accounts you have and the solid factor of those accounts, the foundation of your accounts. If you just go in, place an honor box, don't know a name, don't have a phone number, don't know the owner's name, you're not gonna really have a good account because then you have no guidance or you know you have nothing to step on when someone tells you, oh, you shouldn't have that in here, blah, blah, blah. You need to make sure you know the owner, talk to the owner, make sure they're still happy with your services. If they're not, change up to what they want you to do. Make sure it all makes sense for the owner or the person in that business because otherwise you have no business. Your business relies on someone else's business, so you need to make sure that you know, you're know you doing the most you can when it comes to that. If you're in a location and they wanna have a chat with you, this usually isn't a good sign, being completely honest. Um, especially right now during this time, 
a location wants to have a conversation with you, it's usually going to be something pretty bad because they probably don't want the machine anymore. I'm hurt. I'm hearing so much of people kicking out machines, whether it be, a, it's usually the smaller machines is what I'm talking about. Bigger machines, it's a little different. Obviously your products are packaged and inside a machine. The only thing you need to clean is the keypad and that's on someone else after they touch the keypad and get, grab their snack wash their hands before they eat the snack. That's just a big thing. That's a common sense thing that people weren't doing beforehand. And that's, I think, the biggest thing before all this happened. People weren't even washing their hands as often as they really have should have been. So people are gonna be washing their hands more. The bigger machines is a little different. Smaller machines, it's hard because you're putting the candy directly in your hand. That's why I think the cups is the best, best thing. But if you're putting candy directly in your hand, no one's gonna go and wash their hands after the candy is already in their hand. That kind of defeats the purpose of it. So you need to make sure you're doing things to tell people, hey, wash your hands, put stickers on your machines, please wash your hands, please use a cup, do things that are different and people understand that you're taking the precautions with your business, so therefore they'll take the precautions when buying from your machine, otherwise they won't buy from your machine anymore. Here's some ways to keep your foot in the door. I really think we have to, you know, understand the business's perspective. Um, I had one location where they called me and said, hey, we're closing shop right now. Um, come get your machines, come get your box. I went, took out an honor box and two machines. It was one of my great accounts. It probably made between 150 and 200 bucks a month. And I had to pull it. And it sucks because you think that these businesses are gonna be there forever, but they're really not. So feel the fear with the business owner. That's a rare case that a business is just closing down. I do hear though, if this goes on a couple more months, 50% of all small businesses will shut. I don't know how true that is. That was just a statistic that I did read. Um, you need to feel the fear with the business owner when they say, oh, we can't have you here. Say maybe you can raise the commission, but let them pay the commission later down the road or come up with something smart where you can benefit the business owner in such a way that they want you to stay and they don't want to kick you out. I think that's the biggest thing that we're going to face. People aren't going to really want us in their business anymore because if we're doing it for charity, but we're still spreading germs, why would they want us to be there? Some locations are going to want extra money. Maybe you could raise your commission, upgrade your max, put better toys, do certain things. You're really going to have to test out a lot of things in your specific market. What's going to work? What's going to happen? Depending on the certain type of business or the store owner, his own personality, depending on that owner's personality, that's going to depend on the success of your business. So we're going to have to see what's going to happen for all of you guys. And you're going to have to let me know in the comments below um, what you what's going on with your business. If you have no income, I think this is a big thing. People are probably running out of income for the past 30 days, haven't been able to service for probably about two months. File for unemployment if you can and uh, do everything you can to create a side hustle. Start a business, um, you know, selling on eBay, sell on Amazon, sell on Walmart, sell Kindle books, uh, do surveys, usertesting.com, responded.io. There are infinite amounts of possibilities for you to be able to make money right now. The only reason you're not making money, sinking into your own brain of what is going on around you, make sure you get out of that, make sure you focus on making some money, getting things going, and not looking at as this as a failure, looking at this in a positive light of understanding, okay, this happened, this will probably happen again in the future. What can we plan for? What can we do to make this better? What type of locations are gonna stay open during a pandemic like such? A lot of places don't, but at the same time, you need to plan around this pandemic and hope for a better future, which will happen, and then know that it's gonna happen again and plan for that as well. That's what you're gonna to have to do. That's what we're all gonna to have to do. We're all in this together. And we're all gonna to succeed together, but that's only if we don't give up. This industry will move forward. We will move forward together. Everything is going to work out just fine. We recovered from 2001 when 9-11 happened. I wasn't in the business. We recovered from 2008. I also wasn't in the business. Businesses shut in 2008. Businesses shut in 2001. These were two tragic things that happened, 2001 being 9-11, 2008 being the financial market crisis that happened. These things happen. Crises do happen and we need to prepare for them and they are inevitable. You need to have your savings, you need to have an emergency fund and you just need to be ready for things like this to happen. So when we come out of this, which we will, there are going to be so many opportunities to buy cheap vending machines, cheap accounts, cheap locations of people who just need the cash to get by. I think we might see that, we might not. Uh, depending on when the government opens, we will see what happens, but be prepared. Hopefully you have your cash stacked. Hopefully you got your dollar bills rolling in and uh, you're ready for the future of the vending business industry. Things will change. You will see those things changing on my channel and everywhere else. The business will change. The business model will change. The industry will change entirely to fit the need of a pandemic because so many people never expected such a thing to happen. It did happen. We're here now. Let's be optimistic. Let's hope for a positive future. And uh, hopefully someone in this video got a coupon. I'm going to conclude the video here. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.